Hi, welcome everybody. Welcome to Portugal Pavilion. My name is Rafael. I'm going to be giving you a guided tour of our pavilion. It's a pleasure to have you with us. All right, so over here we have some footage. We have a, a sculpture from one of our artists. His name is Bordalo Seconds, and this was uh, done with all recycled material collected from the ocean. It represents the urge that we need to have when it comes to sustainability and actually having uh, a lot of products uh, collected from the ocean and recycled in a different way. And this is a very example. He also has a lot of pieces of, like this around uh, Lisbon and around Porto and other places in Portugal. So uh, if you want to check him out, uh, you can find him on Bordalo Second on Instagram as well. So this is uh, the Portugal uh, DJ party over there or not? Uh, no, this is it's actually right a party for Expo. Uh, he's a local DJ and uh, he's giving everyone a show. So uh, that's why there's a big crowd over here. So, but it's a party area a little bit. Yeah, is it, it is a party area. This is called the Jubilee Stage and it's situated in Jubilee Park. That's where we are. We actually have a rooftop that actually looks right at it. Over on the top, I will show you after. Okay? There's actually a lot of cool concerts and stuff all the time, right? Yes, correct. The There's right always here. concerts happening here, especially during the weekend. It's always a busy time. And we having this privileged location, we actually have uh, one of the best locations to actually watch these shows. So uh, if you're ever thinking about grab grabbing a drink or maybe having some great food, you can come here and actually have a great time. And watch What's the happening show on, the, on the screen there? Uh, what's happening on the screen okay so uh, our theme for this uh, pavilion is a world in one country and in Portugal we have a lot of ethnicities and we have a lot of people from uh, various uh, world of backgrounds so we wanted to embed that in our theme and we wanted to put that forward as a world in one country that we have a little bit of everything in our tiny country we usually say that we are a tiny country but we have a big heart so um, over here we have obviously our reception where, we, where you can find the delicious and very well-known well uh, pastel de nata and also our donuts with custard alongside some Portuguese coffee. Um, these have been one of our best sellers, the pastel de nata over here. Yeah, these ones over here, this is the pastel de nata or as worldly known as the custard tart. And these ones are also a very famous uh, treat from Portugal which is called the uh, Bola de Berlin or over here, we just call them donuts with uh, custard. Uh, inside, we have our concept store. The concept store uh, is very, uh, it's a very unique concept, but I'll show you after yeah. we get into our show. So please follow me. I'm gonna show you around our pavilion. And, two minutes? Um, all right, let me show you around. Go for the exhibition room. Yeah? Okay, come with me. Let me show you around. Hi, welcome, thank you so much. So over here, you can find a lot of Portuguese products. These are all gourmet products that have been sourced uh, specifically from Portugal. They came from all around the country. And um, yeah, they're being, uh, you can buy them here and you can take them home. Um, while a lot of people focus on a souvenir store, store, we actually went and we got a lot of designers and a lot of artists and uh, companies from Portugal to actually bring their products here to Expo to show the variety that we have and the quality of products that we have in Portugal. Um, and it ranges from design, design um, uh, pieces like this. This is from um, <coughs> Bel, uh, Bella Vista. Vista Alegre, sorry. Vista Alegre is very well known in Portugal for their uh, porcelain. And these pieces are all made by hand and painted by hand. So this is uh, also a big part of our pavilion, actually. And uh, as you can see, we have this theme with cork. Since we're the main exporters in the world for cork, we tend to use it a lot. It's a very sustainable product and uh, you will see a lot of it wherever you go to Portugal as well, being used. Um, uh, now, not, not on any kind of like bottles or anything, right? Uh, I'm joking. Yeah, you will also find them on the top of bottles since we, yeah. uh, we're big on wine. All right. Now, let me okay. take you on a tour around our pavilion. So over here on our stairs, you can actually see where part of my, the inspiration for my uniform comes from on the Portuguese traditional tiles. They are usually, uh, back in the day, they were usually painted blue on white. And you can find a whole wall of them. And this is where the inspiration came for our um, design, for the design of our um, uniforms. Quick note, uh, the ones who designed our pavilion were called uh, Saraiva and Associados. And uh, they are getting really big in Portugal for their minimalistic approach and also clean lines, which is what we try to embellish. Give a more modern look to a country that is full of tradition. 
Over here we get to our artifact room. Our artifact room hosts a full wall made out of cork with an interesting design and uh, a lot of other artifacts that you can see. These are all made by Portuguese artists. This one is actually made full of silver. Over here we have the Bissalhães pottery, which is all made in black clay and is actually part of the UNESCO heritage. Now, if you follow me around here, you can actually find our exhibition room where you will have a range of um, games and interactive uh, points where you can actually learn a lot about our country. Including over here, you have the Portugal challenge where not only we're gonna challenge you a little bit when it comes to your knowledge about our country, but if you miss, that's fine. We'll teach you what the correct answer is. So at the end of the day, you can repeat it as much as, much as you want, and you're gonna learn a lot about our country. Accompanied with some, um, with some screens as well to tell you a lot more about what our country has to offer, being the fourth uh, safest country in the world. 65% of our electricity is already produced through sustainable ways. We have a lot of offer, including a great education as well. Now, follow me, I'm gonna take you to the main room. Now let's be quiet because over there it's a very special moment and we don't want to ruin anything. Over here we also have some depiction of our landscapes which are really important uh, to highlight because our country it really is a world in one country full of diversity, architecture, different types of terrain and uh, it really is something special. So come with me, I'm going to show you the real, the real deal. So over here we actually are going to sit in um, some cork benches designed in Portugal and we're gonna enjoy the show, which is in a 360 atmosphere. And this was all made by a Portuguese company. And um, yeah, I hope that you all can enjoy it as much as possible. And in the future, maybe visit it and experience it for yourself because uh, seeing it on the screen is completely different from uh, experiencing it in real life. As you can see, the tiles are all also a big part of the show, as well as the inspiration for our pavilion. I don't know if you want me to continue explaining. Yeah, you can continue yeah. to explain. So the, the tiles have been used for centuries and centuries. Yeah, for many and, uh, centuries. Uh, we've actually, it's a big tradition in Portugal. Um, and a lot of them, some of them are not in the greatest state. So we've actually have managed to reconstruct a lot of the walls that had these designs. And uh, here we're portraying that, that tradition that we want to keep alive and that they actually tell a lot about our country, not only uh, over our actual history, but also fables, traditions. Uh, and that's what we wanted to embellish in this, uh, in this new pavilion, in this new experience. As you can see, we're all made of breeze and we're all made of sea and we're all made of everyone. Portugal is surrounded by the sea and the sea brings a lot of inspiration, not only to whatever we do, but uh, it also gives us a little bit more of hope and uh, discoveries, as you all know from the history of Portugal. This part kind of represents uh, how we're all the same, we're all made of cells and uh, we're all part of the same thing and for the same reasons. Obviously our oceans are in danger right now, so we wanted to highlight that and we wanted to show that it is really important to preserve them and the species that live in them. So there are, there are rules for the fishermen and everything, so yeah. they don't overfish, they of don't course. kill the dolphins of course, and stuff like that? Such a seafood culture that we have in Portugal, uh, where we actually have, um, we eat a lot of fish and seafood and we have a lot of dishes that are based on that. We actually had to impose those strategies to actually um, manage the population of fishes especially when it comes to tuna which has seen a drastic um, redu reduction in its population and overfishing is still a problem but we're trying to correct it as much as possible obviously we always highlight our landscapes which are just staggering and uh, beautiful to look at as long as, as well as our beaches which we have a lot of them from the north to the south you can find hundreds of beaches in portugal and of course there is no portugal without a lot of tradition a lot of uh, parties as well and a lot of uh, fairs and uh, really highlight our culture of uh, being different, loving to have fun but also working very hard at the same time. We've been a center of entertainment uh, as well 
And uh, yeah, this is part of our islands of Madeira and Azores, which are a very big important part of our country as well. And if you like outdoor sports, we also got it covered. Some mountain bikes, trails, uh, it truly is a special place to be at. Oh, and we also have a mountain called Serra da Estrela or Mount of the Star where you can actually get some skiing done and uh, or snowboarding. But not all the year. Not all year round, no. Only during winter, yeah. yeah we like to say that we snow. have everything. Snow is only during a little bit of the year. Not all year long. Yeah. But surfing, definitely all year long. Yes. So actually, uh, Portugal is an affordable place to travel to from anywhere in Europe. Is, There's is always very, cheap airlines. It is very affordable. Uh, compared to like a lot of countries in Europe, we're one of the most affordable countries uh, in Europe. And uh, whatever you, you find in Portugal is that everyone is very nice and very hospitable. And a lot of the activities that you want to take part on, they're not going to cost you an arm and a leg. They're actually going to be decently affordable for you to enjoy yourselves. You can skydive, you can surf, you can do some motorbiking if you actually have the license to, or if your courage is enough, even do some rock climbing. And, um, and the, the flights are affordable to come the there. Like the flights are actually... EasyJet, everything. Yeah, yeah. We, EasyJet, Ryanair, all of them actually stop at Lisbon, and they actually have quite affordable prices. Myself, um, I've lived in the Netherlands for a while now, and every time I visit Portugal, I pay, what, 70 euros on with EasyJet or Ryanair, and I'm back at home. That's probably like a return flight. Yeah. Exactly. Right. It's, uh, sometimes you can get really cheap flights as well. And, and the weather is great until October, November uh, and stuff? Actually, like, uh, I would like to say that the weather is great all year long, uh, but we do have four stations. Uh, during autumn, it does maybe it will get a little bit rainy, but the temperature will never drop below 10 degrees. Uh, while when you get to winter, in some places there might be cold, but never to the extremity that will get like below like minus 10 or anything. Like some areas might will get to like minus one, but nothing like extremely cold. And during summer, obviously we can get between 30 to 40 degrees sometimes. And when, and uh, spring is actually the best time because temperature ranges between 15 to 25. And that's just the sweet spot to visit Portugal. Our cities are a big part of it, and uh, we have a lot of architecture and history. I'll, I hope you have enjoyed our experience, and uh, I hope to see you again in Portugal one day. All right? All right. Is Thanks. it possible to exit uh, the, the other way? Uh, yeah, we'll yeah, exit the we, other way. Should we go there? Yeah, okay. of course. Come with me. Basically, we're doing the, the tour in the opposite direction, right? So this is how people would enter? Yeah, this is how people would enter in our pavilion. We did it the other way around, just to avoid a little bit of the crowd. And this is one, another one of our cork walls, as well as a design light to get some ambience. And this is the stairway that leads you to our pavilion. And you have a, a bar on the yes, top. How to do. get up there? Come with me, I'll show All right. you. the drinks people can get at the bar? Oh, um, you can get some mojitos, you can get the Portuguese wine, which is very well known around the world, and um, also all types of wine, red, white, and rosé. And soon enough, we'll also have some Portuguese beer as well. Okay. Sorry. All right, now we go up to the second floor. Where we have <laughs> more tiles as well. <laughs> we, we don't like you to forget what our theme is about. And right
right here we enter and you can already smell it it's the restaurant part of um, of our pavilion Denis tudo bem tudo bem estou a fazer um tour aqui para este colega tá bem da mídia this is our bar here with our best bartender this is Denis he will be the one taking care of everything when it comes to the drinks and we also have an event area over here If you follow me this way, I'll show you around. This is our amazing colleagues. How are you, man? Hey, nice to see you. And this is our insatiable team in the team in the kitchen, which never stops. Hi, Diogo. How are you? All good. He's one of our best chefs over here, representing Portugal Always and working. cooking amazing food. As you can see, everything smells amazing. Keep doing a great job. And if you follow me over here, everything that you see, all the furniture, all the desks, everything has been designed in Portugal and produced with Portugal um, products as well. Both the, the plates, the cutlery, the glasses, everything is from Portugal. And like I promised, we have our beautiful rooftop over here with a view, with a beautiful view of the stage of Jubilee Park, where you can find the best events happening in Expo 2020. During like weekends, festival. sorry, it's kind of like a festival going on. There. It is, it is. Uh, every weekend, it gets uh, very crazy over here in Jubilee Park with a lot of events, local artists. Uh, Amir Diab came here as well, and uh, that was just a very crazy night where there was a lot of people. Jubilee Park was completely full. There was lines, losing sight, and uh, it still continues with that trend. We're Expo is trying to bring as many artists as possible to uh, to Jubilee Park and to the Expo itself, and. Uh, and uh, bring on that popularity and bring more people. And uh, the area you're in, uh, for example, you're next to Canada. Yeah. Uh, what is this area called? This is called the Jubilee area. And uh, it's uh, a very privileged area because we're right next to one of the biggest stages. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, so we don't block them. Uh, Jubilee area. Yeah. Oops. All right. All right. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Thanks it was a pleasure to have you. No, nah, no worries, no worries. Thank you so much, and it was a pleasure to have all of you. I hope I can see you one day here in the Portugal Pavilion, and have a wonderful evening, everybody. Thank you.